I'd like to talk about torque in putters and torque in the putting stroke. Uh, torque is a twisting or turning force that's applied to an object when it's put in motion and it's uh, caused by gravity. Now we've got a uh, face balance putter here and this putter when you hang this perpendicular and apply force to it, it doesn't want to twist open or close because in this configuration the center of gravity in the is aligned with the axis, center axis of the shaft. But we putt in an, with an inclined plane, and when you put this putter in motion on the back stroke, it wants to open up. On the forward stroke, it wants to cl close. So that's caused by the center of gravity being away from the axis here. So that has a certain rate of opening and closing because of the balance of that putter. Here's another putter, and this is a toe hang putter. And this putter, uh, you hang it in the perpendicular, apply force, you can see that that putter face wants to open and close. And then also on the incline plane, uh, opening and closing during the stroke. So uh, I think it's easy to see that opening and closing of the putter face is going to complicate your stroke. Uh, you have to time the amount of rotation here uh, that this putter wants to uh, turn on and so it's going to make it uh, more complicated. Then also when you have uh, torque in the golfer's putting stroke uh, that's uh, going to further complicate the putting stroke. Now this torque in the golfer's putting stroke is uh, not something that I'm saying. This is something that's uh, talked about by a uh, world leading putting coach and I'm sure that they have come to that conclusion because of their stroke analysis on Sam and Quintic uh, so they can show definitely that there is uh, opening and closing caused by the golfer. So and I think the idea in putter fitting is to match up the amount of torque that is in the putter with the amount of torque that the golfer is creating so that those two will cancel each other out and help the face to be square at impact. So that's kind of a complicated thing though. You know, you've got all kinds of different uh, putter designs with different torque in them and uh, trying to match that up with a stroke that's got torque in it. Um, it's, uh, it really does sound like a complicated uh, uh, calculation. Now, here's a way to uncomplicate your stroke is first of all, you can use a putter that doesn't have torque in it. So this is a, these putters balance toe up and uh, doesn't matter what configuration you put this in, hang it straight up and down or put it on the incline plane, these putters don't have torque in them. So they don't want to open or close. So that's one way to uncomplicate your stroke. Now if you have torque in your stroke, like a lot of a golfers apparently do, and you use a putter that doesn't have torque in it, um, that's this putter is not going to help you uh, fix your this, the torque in your stroke, but it will make it uh, less complicated, uh, should be uh, less complicated because you don't have to deal with that, so uh, it may take a little getting used to, but uh, once you use this type of putter, you're going to uh, see by your results the uh, difference in direction and your, the difference in face angle that you're creating at impact, uh, so you will uh, eventually, you're going to uncomplicate your stroke and you're going to make uh, more consistent putts with a putter that doesn't want to uh, open or close. Now, the best of uh, both worlds here is to have a putter that doesn't have torque in it and a putting stroke that doesn't have torque in it. And the putting stroke that doesn't have torque in it is the uh, Dynaline stroke. It's a dynamic pre-shot alignment and this uh, stabilizes the stroke by removing slack in the joints so that torque does not, there is no twisting in the putter stroke, in the putting stroke. So I can just uh, let go of this putter. I'm not trying to control it, just putting it in motion and it's going to travel on a real stable track. You know, I can put this uh, toe up in the air or stand more up. I put the heel up in the air, you know, so this uh, matches up this putter to uh, a lot of different putting strokes uh, 
but with the dyna line and we'll, we will uh, take out the slack and get this stable uh, motion here and then we can line this up and make a putting stroke that doesn't have that compensation in it from the golfer and from the golf club. So if you're uh, looking for more consistency in your uh, putting, I would first try the putter that doesn't have torque in it and then uh, match that up with a putting stroke that doesn't have torque and you really should see some improvement in your putting consistency.